Hallelujah. Well, good morning. Good hallelujah. Morning. Hallelujah. 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 Well, welcome to Fresh Anointing House of Worship, Birmingham. We're so glad that you decided to tune in with us this morning. Welcome again to those that are listening in via Facebook as well as our Zoom and our conference call. We would like for you to share, like, and put those songs up. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is F-A-H-O-W, Birmingham. We will have praise and worship. And the next voice you will be hearing will be our pastor, our pastor Sandra Petway. Hallelujah. 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 Pray up, pray up, pray up for my life, pray up. 
Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
Father, we honor and we adore you. We kneel down before you. We just honor your holy child, Jesus. We thank you for sending your only begotten yes. son to this earth to die for us. Yes. Giving us access to your kingdom. Yes. Giving us access to your principles. Giving us access to your promises, God. We thank you most of all for taking us out of the snares of yes. sin. Out of the bondage of sin. Therefore, we're free. And whom the son sets free is free indeed. We love you. We bless you. We ask you to speak yes. to us today. Holy Spirit, I ask you to think through my mind and speak yes. through my lips. Yes, I desire to say nothing of this of this sound here, but only what heaven has to say yes. to every one of the sound of this voice. We give you glory. Yes. We give you praise. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Come on, can we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Can we praise the Lord in here today? Hallelujah. 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 Because you know the dead folks can't talk. <laughs> if they go to talking, I'm gone. <laughs> Come on, but I believe we're about some live people in here. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Trouble don't last always. How many remember that trouble don't last always? Come on, say it one more time. Trouble don't last always. We're coming in that same thought because in that same thought, and you all should have the scriptures in front of you. Thank God for our ushers. They pass out to everybody just so you can kind of have something to follow along with us here. Uh, we would, we're going in that same vein because trouble don't last always because the Lord has given us a power. He's given us a treasure that causes us to outlast our troubles. Say with me, I outlast, I outlast my, troubles. my troubles. Come on, say it one more time. I outlast, I outlast my troubles. My troubles. So that's why I'm still here. That's why, that's why I show up in spite of what's going yeah. on. That's why I'm still fighting in spite of what's Come going on. on. Come on, tell somebody I outlast my troubles. I outlast my troubles. But we thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, that is not our key text for today, but I do want to pull from that message a couple weeks ago, this verse, and it says 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 says, what we have. Come on. This treasure mm -hmm. and earthen vessels. Yes. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Yes, Come on, let's read it together. One, two, three. When we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. You may have your seats. Now, and, 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 that, and again, I just went over because this is really not a key verse, but I want to stress here. This treasure here, we talked about this the other week. This treasure here that we're talking about, that we have, somebody said, in this earthen vessels. And it's earth. Point to yourself, say, I'm the earthen vessel. I'm the I have a treasure in me. Come on, say it again. I have a treasure in me. Pastor Sam, you're not going to leave before you long because I'm just going to drop this other thought and we're going to go on in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. But this treasure is the knowledge. It is tells about it's the know. It's the confidence that we have in God that every born again believer receives. We receive it individually and personally at the time when we accepted Christ in our lives. Tell somebody, I've got a treasure in me. I got a treasure in me. I've got a treasure in me. As I, it's when we accepted Christ as our Savior and Lord, He released, yes. He endowed us with this treasure. Yes. It's the know, it's the confidence that God is there. I don't care how many people you hear say there is no God, you know that something down in you tells you, Oh, yes, there is. Come on now. I don't care. You, they can announce it across the air. Come you on. know deep down with, Oh, yes, there is. is. So this treasure is that knowledge. Okay, it's that knowledge. See, it's through Jesus Christ. Another point we made a week or so ago. It's through Jesus that we receive this access. When you accepted Jesus, when I accepted Jesus, we receive somebody say access. Access, access to this treasure. We receive adoptive rights. How does that happen, Pat? Adoptive rights. We receive territorial rights to this treasure. And you say, well, what are adopters' rights? In Romans 8 and 15, it tells us, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, what? Abba Father. What is Abba Father? Abba Father is like we're saying, Papa God, Daddy God. It becomes a personal thing. It becomes an individual. Say it one more time, I've got a treasure in me. I've got a treasure in me. I've got treasure in me. Our topic today, I believe the Spirit of the Lord dropped it up because there is a treasure. And trouble don't last always because he's given us that treasure that causes us to outlast everything that the enemy trying to tell us that we are not, that we'll never accomplish, we'll never get ahead of this. You can't stop doing that. Tell somebody, I've got a treasure in me. I've got a treasure in me. The topic that the Lord, I believe, dropped in our spirits today, say this here. This is our topic. It's really trouble don't last always part two. But the topic is say it's time, it's time. to take over. To take hey. over. Come on, that's authority. Come on, it's time, it's time. To, take over. to take over. To take over. Now, the word I kept hearing in my spirit saying for God was authority. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Every time I was just praying, I said, Lord, what am I going to tell him? Yeah. Because all the said told me this day was coming a long time ago. He said, Where you going? <laughs> and uh, I said, Lord, what am I going to tell him? You got it. I kept hearing the word authority. authority. Come on, say that word authority. 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 Say authority. authority. Come on, we got to say that authority ain't no weak word. Come on. Now, if I say talk soft. <laughs> so that's a weak word. <laughs> okay? But when we say the word authority, authority. We, we speak that word with strength. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, of authority yeah. I militant. Yeah. I don't think of anybody running behind yeah. the shed looking to see who's coming. <laughs> uh, authority says you fight face first. Oh, God, I ain't backing down. I don't care what the devil yeah. says. I don't care what the label yeah. says. I'm going forth in the name of the Lord. Come on, say it with me. It's time. It's time to take over. To take over. I have a treasure in me. I have a treasure in me. I say this because this is supernatural. When I, I say it's time to take over, 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 I don't over. have the time to come to you for a performance or with some great oratorical speech. Okay? We come in the name of Jesus Christ. And we come with the word that I believe the Lord has dropped in us that we divide. Amen. Because I can only preach to you what I live. I can tell you I don't know how you got a million dollars in my pocket. I prophesy that, but I don't know how about that, okay? Hallelujah. But I can tell you how to make it. Amen. I can tell you how to trust God. I can tell you how to get on your knees and say, Jesus, He can make a way. I don't know I can tell you that now. Come on now. Amen. Somebody say glory. Glory. And I ain't defeated. I ain't and I ain't going down. I ain't going and I down. still got victory. I still got and victory. I still got victory. Yeah, I still got victory. How many somebody say glory? Glory. You know, I think about some people say, well, if I get me a Mercedes, and that's good because I love that's really my ideal car. I, I really love that top of the line Mercedes. Black with some good old I'm just telling you the truth, okay? <laughs> Me. I am who I am because of Christ. So riding my Honda Accord, I might need to see all of you that I'm the same girl that my God ain't did me. Come on, come on, come on. You better say so. Come on now. Tell somebody I am who I am because of Christ. I am who I am. Tell them it's time to step up and step up. Man has the greatest attention, greatest intention, but sometimes on our best days we still might fail you. Amen. But God will never fail. God will never fail. And when I say man might fail, you ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about me. Because on my best intention, I was intending to call Danielle the other day. And I got to rehearse. I said, Lord have mercy, baby. How did everything go on Wednesday? <laughs> And folks start calling. I mean, I'm talking about without, without yeah. best intentions. Yeah. I still might fail you. Yes, God. Yeah. That's you too. Come on, come on. Tell that's me too. Yes, come on, tell that's me too. Yes, tell somebody it's time to take over. Time to take over. See, this is supernatural. When we say it's time to take over, this is supernatural. This is not in within the human intellect or the human strength. Although God needs a body within the earth to achieve it. Come on now. But it's super. Come on, say it's supernatural. It's supernatural. Come on, stand up to your feet one more time. Now, this is our real text for the day. Because I wanted to lay some groundwork here. Because the word I keep hearing is somebody say authority. 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 I want to say it like you know. Say I have authority. I have authority. I want to say that I have authority. I have authority. Let's look, let's look at Luke the tenth chapter and verse nineteen. Luke the tenth chapter and verse nineteen. Thank you, God. Luke the tenth chapter and verse nineteen. Let's read that together. One, two, three. Behold, I give them to you. How? To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Come on, now let's read that one more time. Because this is Jesus talking to the disciples here. Come on with power. Now I saved my red ink. Okay? Because <laughs> it comes from. A color ink. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, some good old black and white. Come on, right. 
Come on now. But if you had a Bible, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you looked in your Bible, come on now. that would be in the wrong yeah. print. Come on. Because Jesus is doing the talking. Yes, God. <laughs> come on, let's read this one more time. One, two, three. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and before. Stop right now. See, these days we don't have many serpents. I don't have none in my house. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. But when he's giving me power to tread upon serpents here, he's talking about conflict. Yes. He's talking about opposition. Amen. He's talking about your greatest frustration. Yeah. He's talking about your greatest weakness. He's talking about your greatest loss. Your greatest pain. Come on, he says, Behold, I give you what? Power. To tread upon a serpent. And scorpion. What, what happens when you tread upon something? Come on, you want every step. Come on, come on stop talking about I'm tread. Come on, Lord. Tread. I'm tread. I'm treading you. Yes, Do we have any swords in the house? I'm not you know what? You can't tread and show the war. Yeah, I, have, I see my boy back there raising his hand because that's what can show him swim. I'm going to tell you now. But I'm going to tell you something. We just get in the deep water. I got it. We just get in the deep water. When your feet can't even touch the bottom, Come on. all you got to do is move them legs like this. You tread on that water. You tried on it. Come on now. And the boy you said the, the boy you tried them legs and moved them back. I ain't got one you to go. But you look like you're a pro. You look like you got a gold medal when you at the Olympics. Come on, read it one more time. Let me see. Right, <laughs> one, two, three. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the powers of the Over oh, how much? Oh, uh, over how much? Oh, uh huh. And, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You may not see me. Wow, it's time to take over. Amen. It's time. Come on, look at someone tell me it's time to take over. It's time to take over. It's time to take over your sacred and so yeah. It's time to take over every lie the enemy told you that you couldn't do. It's time to take over your purpose. It's time to take over your vision. It's time to take over where you are getting over it. You ain't still stuck by it. You are getting over it in Jesus' name. Woo! It's time to take over it. The Amplified Version says, the Amplified Version says, listen carefully. He says, it, listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess. Amen. Bless God for the praise. Amen. Said, I want that lady in that gold blouse. I know they love me over there too, but it's something about that lady in that gold blouse. She bought that M word title. Mama. <laughs> Amen. The Amplified says, listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now Possess yes, God. to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability. Listen, we also have the ability to exercise authority what you yeah. say. over all the power of the enemy, Satan. Yes, God. Who is our enemy? Satan. Let me tell you something frustration and hurt and pain and lies and staring and Thieving and having to wake up in the morning and go to work when you don't tired because see that's because of Adam and Eve. We now have to work by the sweat of our what? Wow. None of that is in heaven. So where does it come from? Satan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over all of us. And nothing will in any way harm you. When we talk about power and authority, I just want to share this thought, and I promise you, Pastor Sandy is going to be out of here, but I want to share about power and authority because here, I, I gave you both versions because the King James version says, I give you power. Some of the newer versions tell you, I give you authority. You know what Pastor said? What's the difference? Is there a difference? There is. They're similar, yet they're a little different, okay? And in fact, they can be used interchangeably, meaning they can be used together. Amen. But there is a little different. Power. Listen to this. Power resides in the government or kingdom backing the person. Okay. I've got to say that again. Power 
resides in the government or kingdom that's backing that person. Y'all got me. However, authority is released to that individual or person as a representative of the kingdom. Oh, wow. Again, authority is released. Power comes from the kingdom. It's the kingdom that's backing oh, the person. Thank you, Lord. But authority is released to us from that kingdom as a representative. Break it down, Pastor Sam. You're not too deep for me. I remember I taught school about 20 years. Come on now. And a few years ago, I taught this little short girl. Y'all, she was so cute. She was part of five one or five two. She graduated high school. She was about this time. She went on to college. I doubt very seriously if she weighed a hundred pounds soaking wet. However, she went on to school, and after about a couple years of college, the next thing I heard this young lady, I won't call her name because a lot of folks see this, but anyway, anybody who I talk probably know who I'm talking about. Anyway, this young lady, she decided to join the police force. Oh, wow. And boy, she was just as cute. I still see her. I mean, she had beautiful, big, just, just starry, shining eyes. And she was still about this tall. And I saw her, and she had that little gun. Y'all know how they got all that stuff. And she had that little bit of club and all that stuff. They said, y'all see how they're directing that traffic? At the gate, you know how they have a police? You saw that girl out there working. Why? She represented a kingdom. A hundred pounds, she represented yes. a kingdom. Yes. It didn't matter her weight. Yes. It didn't matter what she carried she from me. When she put on that uniform, Come on now. And she finished that stuff. She had that gun. Yeah. She had all that stuff on the side. Yeah. Tell somebody she represented a kingdom. She represented right. a kingdom. Now, when kingdoms clash, you better say it. The military with the superior training and equipment and the one with the most sophisticated arsenal of weaponry. They will emerge and arise as the controlling power or the ruling power. Now, our kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, not only has not only the power, but we also have the authority yeah. to rule. Oh, God. Tell somebody it's time to take over. It's time to take over. I have purpose. I 
you might have suffered a great loss, the loss of a loved one, the loss of the greatest job you might have ever thought you landed, but tell somebody, I have wholeness and healing in my life. Amen. You might have gone through a divorce recently. Tell somebody, I live in restoration. I live in restoration. And tell them, instead of my children running me crazy, they're not running me crazy. My seed is mighty in the earth. I'm only gonna look this way. <laughs> we started to get older, <laughs> but you know what? My mind is intact. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My health springs for speedily. Come on, say I have repeated cycles of prosperity. Yeah. I have repeated cycles of proficiency. Yeah. I have repeated cycles of success and efficiency. You know, I'm not gonna go keep going around the same. Than anything that we can face. You say, well, 
This scripture here, this text, it comes right out of Luke, the 10th chapter. And if you look back at, if you're in your Bible looking back at 10 and 17, it was right after Jesus had sent out the 70. He sent them out to go and witness and win souls and pray and heal the sick and raise the dead. And this scripture, when they he, they come in, the 70 came, the disciples that came to Jesus, 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 And he's like, yo, yo, what up, yo, what up, y'all? Get on, what up? Now, how the name went? He came to him. Because they came back, they were excited. You know how the church been sit back there in the house? Oh, you want to do is find the bed because they have run you tired. But they still excited and said, y'all don't go to bed. I know something. <laughs> but when they came in, they were excited. They said, Jesus, even the demons are subject to us when we call your name. What they you said, said, the healing, the, the, the sick guy healed when we called your name. Every demon was subject to us when we called your name. And Jesus told them, he says, he says, let me tell y'all something. Yes, God. God just sent me to this earth. Okay, this is my version there, okay? Oh, like he it. said, God just sent me to this earth to see y'all. Yeah. Because I had to come here and rescue y'all. Because if I hadn't come and rescue y'all, all y'all be going straight to where? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't you double hot and sick, okay? <laughs> so I had to come and rescue y'all. He said, because he loved me that he sent me to die for you. So that like, you can have a treasure in you. You can have everlasting life. But Jesus told him, he says, let me tell you something. I was up in heaven with, with my dad. In verse 18, look at it for yourself. You ain't got to take my word. It's Luke 10 and 18. He says, look, I saw Satan fall out of heaven like a flash. Come on now. That joker was so weak. He can God kept, as soon as God said, boom, get out of here. He, Jesus told him, he said, it's like a flash. Let me tell you something. Satan was weak. All right. It's time for you to take over. You got to realize the power that God has put in you. Yes, God. You have the ability. Thank you. You have the vision. Some of God just got to wake it up again. What he you just got to, that's what trouble don't last all way. See, you are lasting. That's what God told you last time. This time he said, You're going to take over. Thank you, Lord. You're going to take over. You're going to take over that situation. You know what, kingdom? I give you power, all this stuff. You taking over. I'm moving on here. I'm gonna, you know, you got to take over. We even have authority in the heavenlies. Come on now. So I have, I have authority, authority, authority in the heavenlies. In the heavens. That means I got position. I got weight. In fact, I'm seated in heavenly places according to the word of the Lord. I don't want you to take I, anything, Pastor. I'm gonna give you the word behind it. Ephesians 2 and 6. And he saw, and this is really God here. This is Paul's writing. He says, and God and raised us up together. Talking about himself along amongst Jesus. Raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Tell somebody I'm seated in heavenly places. I have authority in the heavenlies. I have my authority in the far above all principality. Are y'all with me here? My authority, your authority is far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only right now, but everything that's going to come. Yes. And he went on to say, and he has put all things under your feet. So let me tell you something. You're like, Pastor, what you talking about? Woman, what you talking about? <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you pray, when you pray, when you, when you legislate, Woo! when you decree, yes. and you declare, let me tell you something. You're not praying up. God, they love. I'm looking up toward Jesus. No, you ain't. <laughs> According to the word, where's the devil? Under, under your, your feet. feet. You are legislating down. Not we are praying oh. for victory. We are praying oh. from victory. Oh my God. See, we legislate down. We pray down. We are redirecting God's flow. From heaven to earth, thy kingdom come, thy will done on heaven as it is in earth. The only 
way his son gonna come to the earth is through us. Amen. God ain't coming down here no more. <laughs> Jesus ain't coming not, not like this no more. The next time he come in, he coming back for his bride. Amen. And who is the bride? The church. Tell somebody I got a treasure. 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 I said when we legislate, when we pray, no. when we decree and we declare, when we pray, we are praying down. You are sinking down to the end. You ain't looking up to no devil. You are praying down. You you tell him by Jesus Christ, I am healed. That my seed is mighty in this earth. That my marriage is blessed. My singleness is blessed. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Single women might be some single men in here too. But let me tell you. You are 100% woman. Amen. You are 100% man. Let me tell you. Just because you ain't got sometimes some of the folks walking by your side. They ain't going to go help you. <laughs> <laughs> they are hey, 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 hey. Well, I, I'm just saying. Now God bless all marriages. I, we speak again. But I, I just feel you know, like And that's the same as just wrapping it up here. Oh. We legislate that. We ought to be burning that prayer line up. Why don't I say? Because see, we have to legislate. When we legislate. Thank you, Lord. When we decree. I know you pray on your own. I hope you pray on your own. <laughs> but there's a corporate prayer. Thank you, Lord. Well, we're calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. Every Monday through Friday, at least, I mean, Old says made it very accessible. Why so early? Because you got to go to work. Yes, Lord. 90% of us got to go to work somewhere. Amen. 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 Glory. How do I legislate? How do I take over? We got to have faith in God. I'm going to say it again. We got to have faith in God. Tell somebody have faith in God. Have faith in God. Come on, wake up with me and tell me, so wake up, man. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Mm. Matthew 11, 22 and 23. I'm just giving you the word. Good. Have faith in God. It's time to take over. I, you know, I can run you. I can run you. It's time to take over. Oh, and if you're going to get your all up emotionally and you go home still, you feel You're not saying good. <laughs> but it's the truth. But when we give you the word, mm -hmm. yes. you got something to work yes. with him. Yes. You got something to work for you. God's word says, Have faith in God, for truly I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not die in his heart, but shall believe in those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Oh. Have faith in God. I'm going to say this we don't have a sin problem. We got a faith problem. That's right. That's it. The sister said that on the prayer line the other day. And that jumped up. We don't have a sin problem. We got a faith problem. We don't believe God will do it for us. Now, we, believe, we can pray for somebody else. God save a child. Don't let them die in the next world. When it's you, we don't believe for our sins. We don't believe for our sins. Now, that's awesome. I'm going to say it again. We don't have a faith problem. I'm sorry. We don't have a sin problem. We have a faith. We don't believe God. God can't stop me from this. God, God, and God. where does it say? He says, whatsoever you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. Amen. That same when Sister Nancy was praying that thing on the planet, I said, oh my God. She said, we don't have a sin problem. We got a faith problem. Tell somebody God loves me. God loves me. I said, tell somebody God loves me. God loves me. Oh, you better tell somebody God loves me. God loves me. And I have a treasure in me. And I have a treasure in me. It is that supernatural ability oh, yes. that causes me to go past oh, yes. my circumstances oh, God, and still you. be successful, still achieve. Still achieve. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Still go past. Lord. If you know where I come from, my, my oldest boy said today, if you know where I come from, he saw my mama house. He know where it is. On the west side 
South Montgomery. You know what they say about the West Side. West Side. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you say so, the West Side. <laughs> 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 but that's where all the crime is. That's where all the folks got shot. That was not that. That was folks got stabbed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear much about folks shooting. No. They called us the bottom. Wow. I'm just saying, if you just know. You defy us. Tell somebody, I defy us. I defy us. It doesn't matter where you start, it's how you finish. Amen. Tell somebody, it's time to take over. It's time to take over. After you have faith in God, then you got to take it by force. Come on, say, take it by force. 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 Matthew 11 and 12 says, and from the days of John the Baptist, I love that. And from the days of John the Baptist. Yes. And from the days of John the Baptist. Until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered what? Violence. And the violent take it by force. Oh, my nose, my little girl, she won't be still. The Jesus. Take authority in Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And say, God, give me strategy. God, I take strategy. I prophesy over this child. I prophesy. Even if it's your sweet husband. I pray over the bed in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. I saw pretty much. Let me tell you, you know what gets smarter than the enemy? That you like, you did everything, yeah. Oh, my God. God. Pray the word. Pray the word. Pray the word. Yes. But take it by force. It's time to take over. Pray the word only. Amen. Hold nothing back. Yes, God. Pray the word only. Tell somebody to pray the word only. Pray the word only. Don't pray your circumstance. Don't pray your circumstance. I have been found in Jesus' name. Father, you know I thank you, Lord. And what my back was hurting, we need and my knees too, <laughs> and the arthritis is going down my fingers. And Father, and I'm not making light of anything. Come on. And Father, you know you taught me how to rub two nipples and together. And Father, I thank you that I can call Jesus. And I listen, He's my Lord. <laughs> I love the good. Do you hear me? I'm struggling. Straining, still finding my way home. Oh, I'm struggling and straining. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Oh, no. <laughs> Right. And you're on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on the wrong side. What are we playing? Defeat. <laughs> and I let me say this. I, listen, music is in my bones. Uh, look, my uncle, my mama, my grandma, my granddad. It's in my it's in my bones. Do y'all hear me? And I understand the heart. Of the, especially of the Negro writings, because of what we went through to get to where we are today. So I am not downplaying it by no means. Do you understand what I'm saying? But when do we get over? Who causes us to get over? The scriptures and things speak to God who always causes us to triumph. Do y'all hear me? Come on, tell me, I ain't mad with you, I'm past sin. <laughs> Pray the word. Come on, repeat after me. Say, Father God. Father God. I thank you. I thank that you. That according to your divine power. That according to your divine power. You have given me. You have given me. All things. All things. That pertain to life. That pertain to and life. And godliness. And godliness. Come on, say this. I'm daily loaded. I'm daily loaded. With benefits. With benefits. Tell me, I'm daily loaded. I'm daily loaded. With benefits. With benefits. With benefits. Uh-huh. My God. Shall supply, shall supply all of my needs of my according to his riches and glory. My Christ Jesus. Christ Come on, say it. Now unto him. Now unto him. That is able, that is able to do exceeding exceed abundantly, abundantly above all, above all I, ask I ask of thee. 
Say Jesus. Jesus. You bore my sins. You bore my sins. When you hung on the tree. When you hung on the tree. When you hung on the cross. When you hung on the cross. By whose stripes? By whose stripes? I was here. I was. 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 Not I'm going to be, but I was here. I was here. Let me tell you something. When we legislate down, I'm not praying for for healing to come upon my body. I'm praying for sickness to leave an already healed body. Do you all get me here? Yes. The scripture says, by whose stripes ye were healed. Come on, say this. I hearken to you, Father. I hearken to you, Father. Your voice. Your voice. And your commandments. And your commandments. All blessings are coming to me. All blessings are coming to me. And overtaking me. And overtaking me. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed in the field. My fruit is blessed. My fruit is blessed. My body and my poverty. My body and my poverty. Everything about me. Everything about me. It's blessed. It's blessed. Do you receive it? I receive. Yes, God. It's time to take over. It's time to take over. Mm. If you want to listen to those scriptures, I was just writing them out. I was just writing them out because that's what's flowing. We have to pray the word only. Yeah. One final thing, and I'm done. I think. I promise. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> See, when we say it's time to take over, come on now. Thank you, Lord God. When we say it's time to take over, each one of us have to realize that we've been called mm. for a purpose. Thank you, Lord. Come on, say this to yourself. I am called. I am called for a purpose. For a purpose. Say it again. I am called. I am called for a purpose. For a purpose. Say it again. I am called. I am called for a purpose. For a purpose. Come on, say it again so that the enemy that told you you couldn't will hear God say, You are called. I am called for a purpose. For a purpose. Say it again. I am called. I am called for purpose. For a purpose. Purpose emanates out of me. Purpose emanates out of me. Purpose emanates out of me. Purpose, purpose emanates, emanates out of me. Every time I speak, purpose shows up. Oh God. When you show up in the job, when you show up in the store, when you show up at the meeting, purpose walks in this room. Here she comes. <laughs> Here he comes. Purpose is on the scene. God called Jeremiah. Jeremiah was like my sister named Roxy. He was a weeping prophet. <laughs> I say that in a joking way. <laughs> you know it. Because she, she loves hard and she loves with all her heart. She but she'll just go to cry and go, hey, man, hallelujah. I'm still crying, hallelujah. <laughs> But Jeremiah, God spoke this word to Jeremiah. This is my final thing, I hope, I think. Jeremiah 1 and 10. And this is what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to us in this place. To every man of God, to every woman of God, to every little girl, to every little boy child, you teenagers, how do you label yourself? Whatever you take claim to. This is to you. Jeremiah 1 and 10. He says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. See, I have set, see, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. I have this day. This is God talking here. I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out. You just don't happen to be who you are by happenstance. You are there and you've been called with a purpose, my sister. Damn, beautiful. To root out. When you walk up in there to pull down. To 
destroy, to throw down. And after you done that incriminating stuff, it's the thing you got the plant and you got to build up. He says, I've set thee over nations. He's like, I'm not over nations, Pastor Sandra. I'm talking about your boardroom and your home. The boardrooms of your family. The boardrooms of your careers. The boardrooms of your businesses. The boardrooms of everything that you have to own. Well, it's your children. To all of our single mothers, I salute you because you wear the whole hat. I can't wait to oversee a pet way grace the boy. <laughs> A Birmingham, Alabama. Amen. Oh, God. No, I'm just telling you this. I'm keeping it 100. <laughs> but he said, I set thee this day. I have set you this day. Man of God. He says, I've taken you in there, woman of God. You to rule out. I'm talking about taking over now. To root out what's disturbing you, what's your hindrance, what's holding you back, what's keeping you from doing everything God has put in your hands, that God has put in your mind. Every vision, every dream, what is keeping you from, this is what he's talking about. He's set you over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy the works of the enemy. Don't work with the enemy. Destroy him. Amen. That's how a purpose shows up. To throw down. To build. And to plant. But we have, you may stand, this treasure in us. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, that it's in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. Father, we acknowledge you that you will continually direct every person under the sound of my voice. Every individual in here, every person who's heard this word, it's time to take off. You may be questioning, yes, that sounds good. And Father, they received it by faith. God, but we thank you for giving them general instructions how to strategize, how to walk in health, how to walk in health, how to be great stewards over everything that God has placed us. God, we thank you for the supernatural strength for strengthening all of us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. That Father God, even as we go into a workplace, even as we go into a classroom, even as we go into a situation, for many of us, even as we return home, Father, we go with an attitude of authority because you've given us power to trail serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us. We thank you today. We love you. Yes, we bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.